My name is Nicole Hannah-Jones, and I'm a staff writer at the New York Times Magazine. I think investigative reporting is the most critical of all reporting because that's the reporting that holds power accountable. And we need to be the ones who are holding uh, those who marginalize our communities, who exploit our communities accountable. The person whom I consider a trailblazer is Ida B. Wells. Uh, she was a black woman born into slavery in 1862 who went on to innovate investigative reporting techniques and uh, really is the reason that we began to pay attention in this country to the scourge of lynchings. So when I was a kid, during Black History Month, there'd always be about five black people that you always learned about, and Ida B. Wells was one of them. And so one day, uh, I decided to read her autobiography, and I was just completely struck by how a woman who had been born into slavery could be so audacious, could be so courageous. She was a woman who fought for all women to be treated as equals. She was a woman who hyphenated her name when she got married before American women did that. Uh, she was one of the first people to challenge racial segregation when she sued the railroad for trying to force her to sit in the colored section of the car. Um, she was just someone Unlike anyone I had read about in history, uh, I went on to co-found an investigative reporting organization. It's called the Ida B. Wells Society, and we tried to train and mentor other journalists of color to do investigative reporting. We named it after her to show that there's a long legacy and tradition of black investigative reporting. And of course, my Twitter handle is Ida Bay Wells, uh, which is in honor of who I consider to be uh, the baddest journalist that this country has ever created. I just try to be a straight shooter like she was. She was a woman who did not know her place, uh, who refused to conform to what society said she should do, and she was a race woman. She only wanted to do reporting that was going to uh, expose racial inequality, and that's been really uh, the driving passion of my own reporting. America was not yet America, but this was the moment it began. The 1619 Project was a project by the New York Times to commemorate the 400th anniversary of slavery on uh, what would become the United States of America. And the project argues that nothing about modern American life has been untouched by that decision. And through a series of essays, poems, original short stories, we try to place uh, slavery at the very center of the American story. And so in many ways, to me, the 1619 Project is trying to force a reckoning with a country that was founded both on the ideas of freedom and uh, the enslavement of fully one-fifth of the population. And we will never uh, be able to get past that original sin if we don't acknowledge that the sin was committed.